I'm gonna show you five eco-friendly swaps that you can make in your kitchen today. Let's get started. The first swap that we're gonna make is in the sink. Did you know that your kitchen sponge is made out of pesticides and chemicals? They are not biodegradable and most of your sponges are still sitting in landfills. I have these two alternatives. These sponges are plant-based, they're biodegradable. You can throw them in your compost bin actually made out of natural cellulose of wood fiber and fiber from sisal plants. They have zero dyes, no chemicals, and they're so much more aesthetically pleasing. These are white with brown. You can find these at our shop. The next alternative that you can use is a wooden brush. This is a dish wooden brush, um, and they're so cute to have on your dish sink. Super cute. I'll show you a picture of what mine looks like. So right here, this is how this looks, which I think these are so cute. Number two is your produce bags. Your produce bags are very wasteful. They're not biodegrade. They're not bio. Bio. They're not biodegradable, um, and you can't throw them in your compost bin. They're full of chemicals and all that things we don't want or need. What better than to swap them out with some reusable bags? These are so cute. I love the material. There's um, a three pack in all of them. There's a large, medium, and a small one. And they're just great to have around. They're actually aesthetically pleasing and you could just throw them in your fridge with your veggies and it's really nice. I think you can use them now again. You couldn't with COVID, but I think you can use them at the store again. They're a super great buy. Make sure you have these. Just an FYI, produce bags can take up to 1,000 years to decompose. They don't ever really biodegrade. They just break down into smaller pieces. So if you're looking for a way to start living earthly friendly, but you don't know where to start, your kitchen might be the very first thing you can start with. And it'll be the easiest swap plus one of the best swaps. Number three, do you use a lot of aluminum or just Ziploc bags in your kitchen? Chances are you do. I'm gonna give you a better alternative to these. These, it took me a while to find and it took me a while to get used to them or like at all, but these are beeswax. So there's a pack of three. There's a large, a medium, and a small one. And the beeswax, can be molded with just the warmth of your hands. Um, you can use them as you would aluminum or you can use them as you would a Ziploc bag. Some, they usually come, I don't have any right now, but they come with a little string and you can fold these into like a sandwich bag. But I'll leave all of this link down below. Um, and then just an FYI on aluminum, it is made to withstand hot weather so it can live up to hundreds and thousands of years as it decomposes and again it never fully breaks down. Number four, I think a lot of us are guilty of these, a lot of us use these. These are straws and sometimes they're not really necessary but we like them. The big problem with our straws, they are not recyclable, they are not biodegradable, they just break down into smaller pieces and they go into our oceans, our landfills, our soil and they release chemicals, toxins, in our bag for our animals and can be found up in our food chain again because they go into the ocean. Right, little poor animals eat them, so please swap your straws. These are some cute alternatives. Right here, these middle ones are glass, clear glass. They're so cute. They're all like thick, which I love. And then these are stainless steel. And they're really nice you can find these and several other ones we also have bamboo um, in our shop again this is something really simple and you can throw this little bag in your purse um, you have four straws and then you wash them once all of them get dirty for the last swap let's swap our cleaning supplies most of our cleaning supplies are made out of chemicals pesticides are toxic for our family or kids and our pets. When I found this out, I just couldn't believe it because cleaning supplies are supposed to help your home 
be free of any bacteria, dust, etc. So it made no sense to me. In our shop, we have these glass spray bottles. We have it. We have them in clear and we have them in amber glass bottles. I actually did a DIY multi-surface cleaner. It only needed like three ingredients pretty easy and it's gonna last me a long time. It smells good and it's not going to harm my family or the environment. I actually made a TikTok on this. I'll leave it linked down below. On a quick little note, um, the whole point of being eco-friendly, earth-friendly and helping the environment is to consume less. So if you have anything in your home that you can reuse, that's the way to start. Reuse your items. Um, if you have anything, even if it's plastic, try to reuse it until you cannot use it anymore. Um, that is the whole point of trying to help the environment and not just spending money on all new stuff but to actually reuse what you have in your home and then when you go out and purchase a new item make sure that it is not a big impact on the environment and that is it for today's video five easy swaps that you can make in your kitchen today to have a better and brighter tomorrow thank you guys for watching please stay tuned for my next video bye <laughs>